found dead of a single gunshot wound at his Northeast D.C. home back in October of 2021 was initially ruled as an undetermined death. But after three years of effort by his family, the medical examiner confirmed his death was a homicide. So why? David Kaplan's on the story tonight. He did a report on the story two years ago. He's following up for us tonight at D.C. Police Headquarters. Hey, David. Good evening. Zach Freeling was 26 years old when he died. He'd lost his mother to cancer, his father and brother to suicide. He was the last remaining living member of his immediate family. This determination by the medical examiner that this was a homicide, it's making the family feel like justice is closer. They say they thought this was a homicide all along. He was a good, loving person. Zach Freeling was excited about life in October 2021. He'd suffered tremendous loss, but felt purpose with the friends and family he had and starting a food truck. Justice, as they say, moves slowly. Bruce Weiss and Issa Freeling are Zach's aunt and uncle. They've made it their mission to preserve Zach's legacy. October 18th, 2021, Quincy Place Northeast, Freeling's roommate called 911 saying Zach was unresponsive. Freeling, who family says did not own a gun, was found dead of a single gunshot wound to the torso. The initial death certificate called the manner of death undetermined. Family was adamant he did not take his own life. I think we felt that the only way it was going to move forward if we moved it forward. And so we spent time, we spent money, you know, a lot of emotional energy you know, working on that. That persistence included visits from New York to investigate, hiring private investigators, talking frequently with police and the medical examiner about their investigation. Families say they always felt heard, especially from the medical examiner, but were frustrated by the pace, stymied by large police workloads and issues with crime lab accreditation. But now the medical examiner says additional ballistics testing led in part to Zach's death being ruled a homicide. You can't truly love somebody unless you fight for them. And he's not gone for us, and he'll never be gone for me. So you don't, you don't, unless you're willing to fight to the bitter end. You know, I fought for my brother, and I fought for my other nephew, and none of this should have happened, none of it. You're always finding more information about a case. Dr. Carl Williams is a retired medical examiner from Pittsburgh. He is not connected to this case. He says, though, it's not uncommon for changes like this to happen as more information comes to light, even though at times it can take longer than families might hope. I don't detect anything but an honest effort to get at the story, meaning the story that best matches the evidence. And that can keep changing uh, uh, over your course of your investigation. Okay, so what's this mean practically? D.C. police has been investigating Freeling's death since it happened in October of 2021. This designation essentially means that if they want to prosecute this case and make an arrest because it is now ruled a homicide, it makes it easier for them to do so.